Welcome back to Monitors Unboxed. Today, just have a quick update for you on the LG 27G095QE and its recent firmware update. A couple of weeks ago, LG informed me that a firmware update would be coming for that monitor with the goal of maximizing the panel brightness during gaming. And as they promised, that firmware has now been released, so it's time for us to test it. Why would the 27GI95QE need a firmware update to improve brightness? Well, as we saw in our initial review, this particular OLED monitor is on the dimmer end of the scale when it comes to peak brightness for both SDR and HDR usage. Full screen SDR brightness topped out at just 189 nits, while HDR brightness hit just 670 nits, with no mode providing near the claimed 1000 nits this monitor was supposed to be capable of. This level of brightness is dimmer than the best LG WOLED monitors we've seen so far, such as the ASUS PG42UQ, and it's also quite a bit dimmer than competing QD OLED monitors that typically hit 250 nits in SDR content and near 1000 nits in HDR. About a week ago, LG published this new firmware, which can be installed on their 27GI95QE via LG's on-screen control utility. It's easy to grab this utility from LG's product page for the monitor under the support section. I used version 7.95, and upon launching with the monitor hooked up over USB, you're greeted with a pop-up informing you there is a firmware update available. In this case, version 3.09.1.17. Listed here are the things we were expecting to see, like improved picture quality for SDR and HDR plus other bug fixes. Actually installing this update took a very long time, over an hour for me, so if it takes ages and seems to be progressing very slowly on your unit, just know that this was also the case for me. I don't know why it takes so long, it's certainly the slowest firmware update for a monitor I've ever seen, but eventually it worked. The big question is whether this update increases panel brightness compared to what we had previously. For SDR, I did record a small increase to brightness, but it's closer to the negligible end of the scale than the significant end. After the update, and after the same calibration was applied, my unit was about 9 nits brighter, rising from 189 to 198 nits. That's just a 5% increase, but it does bring it closer to the 200 nit threshold that some people like to see from their display. SDR power usage also rose, indicating that indeed this was a tweak. I saw a 4 watt increase in power consumption or a 7% rise versus our previous testing. This isn't drastically different brightness for SDR usage though, and doesn't fundamentally change this monitor's usability for SDR. People that use their monitor in a bright environment will still likely find 198 nits of brightness insufficient, and the 27GI95QE is still well behind QD OLED monitors for SDR brightness. The Samsung Odyssey OLED G8 we reviewed recently is 23% brighter, so it's still a significant difference there and it's not like this update has suddenly made the LG model super competitive. As for HDR brightness, it's a more interesting story. Unfortunately, under normal operating conditions, I can confirm the brightness of the 27GR95QE has not increased for HDR content. In our review, we used the Gamer 1 mode to test HDR and it was the most accurate in terms of white balance and colors in general. In this configuration, we recorded brightness of 134 nits full screen, 664 nits for a 10% window, raising as high as 668 nits for a 5% window. Grayscale tracking was excellent, so we typically got quite a nice range of brightness and good shadow detail, though understandably this performance was well below the claimed 1000 nits and also below competing monitors. After the firmware update, I saw no real change to brightness, maybe a slight improvement if anything, but not anything notable. Gamer 1 is still the most accurate mode to use and what I'd recommend for HDR gaming, but full screen brightness is only 10 nits higher. 10% window brightness is about the same with fluctuations elsewhere. Best case, I could say it's 8% brighter, but on average across our test samples, it was just 2% brighter, which is probably margin of error type stuff to be honest. So what has changed? Did LG actually do anything with this firmware update to improve brightness? Yes, they did, but I don't expect many people to utilize the changes. The big change here is the way the Gamer 2 mode works. While we didn't extensively test this mode previously, as it was no better than the Gamer 1 mode with the original firmware, TFT Central's review has data showing that the Gamer 2 mode was originally configured roughly the same as Gamer 1, with similar performance. After the firmware update, LG has drastically changed the Gamer 2 mode. It now has a much cooler color temperature, shifting from around 6800K to a very blue 8900K when measuring white. This artificially raises brightness in this mode, now hitting as high as around 880 to 900 nits at a 2% window size, which is a substantial uplift over the 640 nits seen in the Gamer 1 mode. 
it's a 37% increase, which I'm sure would get some people excited. However, the color accuracy of this mode is horrible and practically unusable. The color temperature is well off where it should be, and on top of that, EOTF tracking is also much worse than the Gamer 1 mode. You can see that the monitor's actual performance sits above expected performance, so the image is typically over brightened. And over in the grayscale chart, you can see the strong blue tint, especially at high luminance levels. This massively impacts Delta E performance in the HDR mode. P3 saturation sweeps have a Delta E ITP of 27 on average using the Gamer 2 mode versus 15 using Gamer 1. It's clear just from visually inspecting the chart that Gamer 1 is significantly more accurate. Even changing between modes on a default Windows desktop makes the Gamer 2 mode look clearly worse. So basically, while brightness has improved after the firmware update using the Gamer 2 mode, it comes at a heavy price of accuracy, to the point where that mode ends up hurting overall performance. I personally would stick to using Gamer 1 for superior image quality, though maybe I guess there are a few people that might want the highest brightness with little concern for accuracy. Either way, this update does not give the 27GI95QE a brighter mode that's on par with QD OLED monitors, as those displays can hit 1000 nits with far superior levels of accuracy. And even here, I still wasn't able to hit 1000 nits using one of the built-in modes. As far as I can tell, this mode is effectively LG attempting to cheat in brightness tests by creating a mode that delivers a higher brightness number with little concern for anything else, similar to response time cheating with super high overdrive settings that create tons of artifacts just to get that, you know, one millisecond response time. On WOLED panels, a common method to raise brightness is to make the screen colder and bluer, which is basically what we've seen here. But this sort of thing doesn't fool me. It's a trick, and the standard performance this monitor offers hasn't changed much since our initial review. I still think it's worth updating the firmware, as it doesn't affect the good Gamer 1 HDR mode, it provides a small increase to SDR brightness, and addresses a few other bugs like games defaulting to 4K 120Hz instead of 1440p 240Hz, but ultimately, it doesn't change my initial thoughts on this monitor as presented in my review, so we'll have to wait and hope for another implementation of this panel to deliver higher brightness. So anyway, just a quick update on this particular monitor. If you are interested in supporting the channel and the testing we do, the revisits, things like this, then please do consider subscribing to the channel, giving the video a like, and also supporting us directly via Patreon and Floatplane. Links in the description below, and you gain some cool bonuses if you do sign up there, like our wonderful Discord community. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.